Check it out, friends. This is the first no-hub driver in the industry by Milwaukee. I kind of think it looks a little bit like a phaser that you might see on Star Trek. What do you think? If you recognize it, let me know down below. When I had my first glimpse of this tool right here, I thought it was another version of the Milwaukee M12 impact driver, but it's actually not that. Let me show you the official name right here. It's the M12 cordless no-hub coupling drill driver kit. And this is what it's intended for, driving no-hub couplings like this or larger. There are some that are multiple stainless steel bands on it. So this particular no-hub coupling is for an inch and a half pipe. So I'm actually gonna join some PVC and some galvanized pipe. So let's get right to the action and then I'll go over some of the specs. So right now we're getting ready to join these two items right here with a no-hub coupling. So if you go online and do a search on no-hub couplings and how they came into existence to work in the cast iron drain line industry, you'll see it's really quite a fascinating story on what type of work and requirements and training it took, like years of training to be able to do connections with lead for the cast iron pipe. And then when this right here entered the market, this just completely changed everything. So the training on this is quite quick and easy. And with a tool like this, it's just a snap. So if you look at this right here, this one is a lighter duty one. This one is rated at 60. See a number right there, 60. So I'm gonna turn that to 60. That's the inch pound torque rating. So if you're familiar with the Fernco brand couplings, this one's a little bit different. If you can see on the inside right there, in the middle, there is an area right there of rubber that sticks out that will stop the pipe from going through right at the halfway point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide each pipe right to that center part right there on both sides and then torque each one down to 60 inch pounds. So to get started, I'll make sure that clamp right there is loosened and then I will put that in and you'll see that it stops right at the halfway point. And if you're wondering, this band right here can slide off. And then the stainless steel bands are riveted on each end right there. So you're not gonna lose the stainless steel bands, which is a nice feature of the no-hub couplings. Okay, then we're gonna slide this end in right here. There, it went right to the stopping point. Then I'm just gonna turn it around so the clamps right here, that's gonna face this way when I tighten it. And I just wanna show you how that red light comes on right there, indicating that it's been torqued. So the kit right here comes with three different nut drivers. So I'm gonna go with the 5 16 that's what the clamp fits. So I just wanna point this out as I pull the trigger, it has a, that nice bright LED light. Cause a lot of times I think when you're doing plumbing drain lines, it can be a little bit dark. So it's nice to have good lighting seeing what you're doing right there. And then on this side right down there, you'll see I have the battery status indicator, full charge. All right, let's go, ready? Here it goes. There, you see that red light come on? It clicked and it stopped right at 60 inch pounds. Okay, let's go ahead now and connect the PVC side. There we go. And just like that, we have a nice solid connection. So depending on how heavy duty your connection is, you might see some couplings that are heavier duty than this one right here, and they might have a couple different clamps on them. So what you do, you start the closest clamp to the center point and then work your way out. And then if you read the coupling, you might see where it's the 80 right there. So you'd switch it over there. And then it, once again, that red light will come on when it's torqued to the proper amount. I was just going through my tool cabinet where I have some spare parts and I was looking right here on this two inch Fernco adapter right here, the Plum Quick. Step number three, it says to torque it to 60 inch pounds. So there's definitely been some times where I've taken a Fernco adapter like this and just use a wrench to tighten it down like on the sump pump. And I can remember plugging that in and turning it on and just seeing some water jetting out the side. So it's important to get that right. So that's where something like this will come in handy where you can torque it to the proper amount. So this tool right here is proven to be accurate for up to 25,000 clamps. And after that point, a light will come on right there indicating that it's time to get this recalibrated. And you can send this into Milwaukee and they have a place that will recalibrate it back to where you want. And then you're good for another 25,000. And then if you wanna just use this as a 
drill driver, then you have that mode right there, and then this will spin a little bit faster. So let's say you want to install some plumbing strap, something like this, or do some other type of installation. This right here is nice and it's a compact size. It should reach into some of those tight spaces. Let me show you how it works drilling some screws in here. So we'll start out with some two inch drywall screws here. So I just want to make it clear that it's not an impact driver. So it, even though it looks like one, it's a drill driver. So this is the speed. It's going to be kind of a nice steady speed. I'll pull the trigger all the way so you can see. And then we're going to switch to the quarter inch bit right here. So let's say you want to install some plumbing strap. So check this out. So you're going to put two screws in, put those right next to each other. And there you go. <laughs> put it upside down. So imagine that's a joist right there that you're hanging the plumbing strap from. So this right here is model 2455-22. So you can get this as a tool only. This particular kit right here, it comes with this case, and then it comes with a charger, and then it comes with two of the M12 1.5 amp hour batteries right here. And then on a fully charged battery, you can expect to torque down 300 clamps, which is quite a bit. So if you exceed that limit, you have your backup to go to while the other battery is charging. And then what I like about this case right here, it has this little flap, and that's what stores your three different bits. So you can see how the case is molded really nice. So this fits just like a glove. Everything in this case is well thought out. It fits really nice. But I do have some people that ask about the pack out right here. So let's say you keep all your tools in a pack out type organizer. So I was looking at this particular one right here. So if you cut this Kaizen foam right here, set it in there, you definitely have room to fit this in right there. Then you could also have room for a couple spare batteries too. And maybe over here have your charger. And if you want to keep some plumbing straps and some screws and things like that, you could carry it all in something like this. What do you guys think? Would you go with this? Or would you just keep it simple and just go with the case that they offer? Please let me know if you're into the pack out or not. So the size and the weight of this is just a little bit more than the standard Milwaukee M12 impact driver. So this is 7.5 inches long, 2.75 pounds with the battery. So it's fast, it's accurate, and it's made for repeatable installation of no hub couplings. So then you can see right here, compact lightweight design, reduces user fatigue at only 2.75 pounds. So this has the M12 red lithium advantage, which means more power and speed, longer run time, and extended battery life. So you're gonna get cooler operating temperatures to extend the battery life. You're gonna get extreme condition performance, superior performance in extreme hot and cold temperatures. So then some of your battery pack options, you can do the compact size like this right here, or the other one that I showed you, which is the XC, which would give you two times the runtime and increased performance. But from what I've seen, this right here works really well. So I know that this tool right here isn't going to be for everybody. It's really going to fit a specific niche in the plumbing, especially if you're connecting some cast iron. This is really going to work well for that. And Milwaukee also has some awesome sawzall blades if you're cutting cast iron as well too. So that's another resource that you're going to want to check out. If you want to find out more about this, I will provide a link down below where you can check this out. And if you're interested in ordering something like this, I normally get stuff from Home Depot in one day, which is faster than other places I order from. So I'd say that's really amazing. So my goal of this video is to demonstrate this and put it to the test in case you're considering the purchase of it so you can see if it's right for you. So if you find this video to be helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.